Doctor for the big fight. Ian Dark is our uh, man at uh, ringside. Thank you, Paul. Welcome to Bismarck, North Dakota. First round of 12, then, for the World Boxing Association version of the light heavyweight title. And as you can see, these are two big men, Lassisi in the white trunks with the green stripe down the side, and Virgil Hill, the champion, making his sixth defence. He's the man in the black shorts with all the hometown support. But a bright start from Lassisi, as you can see, he's throwing in that left jab, and he's the big puncher of the two and got in with a few rights as well and uh, Hill is going to have to watch that early on Hill is 25 years of age so he's got uh, a four year start if you believe the record books on Lasisi. some say Lasisi is 32 and not the 29 as advertised so Hill definitely the younger man and he's proved time and again that he can go the full distance quite used to long fights, biding his time, but a bright start from Lassisi, getting in there with a good right to the body as well. Lassisi unbeaten in 20 fights, the man who's had to leave his family behind in Africa to take this big-time chance in boxing. He's come to the States, he's put together the unbeaten record, but this is a big step up in class for him. But in this first round, he's certainly taken the initiative. Always watch Hurley, so fast with that left jab of his, but so far has just found the timing in this opening round, and the better work, if anything, having been done by Lassisi. Funny thing, though, just looking at the Nigerian, he almost looks marked around the start, doesn't he, uh, around the face before he starts. Good work there from Hill with the left, which he uses as his stock weapon, a fast left jab, working upstairs. Oh, and look at that! Lassisi is down. It didn't look a great punch, but Lassisi seemed to walk onto it. He's back on his feet. He'll have to take a standing eight count. Drama in the first round here. Lassisi had started so well, but now Hill will know that he can hurt the Nigerian. And that is very bad news for the challenger down in round one. And the crowd are on their feet behind me here in Bismarck. They can sense that Hill may be on his way to another victory and maybe his quickest yet. And there goes the bell to end a dramatic first round. Lassisi seemed to be ahead on points, if anything, and then the knockdown. Well, Alan Minter back in London, uh, watching that. What did you make of that? Well, that knockdown, I'm not going to take too much notice about it. It was a great punch, but this happens in boxing. A fighter can be caught cold, and I think that's probably what happened. Um, he, got, he, he got up, let's see, see, nice and comfortably. Um, wasn't wobbling around after, after the count of eight, so he still looks in good form. So there is Joe Lassisi, and I wonder what the cornermen, Miguel Diaz, and the rest of them are saying to Lassisi in the corner. It could have been a case of him being caught cold, but it uh, might have been a different story. Hill will certainly interpret it as such. Virgil Hill who's certainly not the boxing stereotype, not the man who ran with the street gangs or was brought up in the ghettos. Hill is the Bible-reading son of a plumber. Modest chap as well. He says, I'm not really all that great, but he's made a pretty good start here, hasn't he? First round knockdown, but Lassisi seems to have recovered okay, and he's poking out that jab again at the start of the round. Due to go 12 rounds, but on the evidence of the first, maybe we won't see the full 12. Interestingly, these two were sparring partners. The CC claims to have floored Hill in the gym when Hill was preparing for the fight that won him this title against Leslie Stewart. And on that occasion, Hill, although he's down in both books as a stylist, one on a fourth round KO, so 
he does have a punch as well as he showed in that opening round. Hill working all the time with that left jab, nice and light on his feet. He's one of the fastest light heavyweights around. A little bandito moustache and a lot of female fans as well here at ringside. Good looking boy is Virgil Hill. Bit of punching on the break there from Lasisi, but they touch gloves again and get back to work. And Lasisi not really getting through with that jab. A lot of them landing on the gloves and Hill slipping the others. That was a good jab from Hill. And again, ramrod jab. Thudded home into Lasisi's face and almost knocked his head back like a rag doll, didn't it, on the shoulders. Lasisi trying to take the fight all the time to Hill, but being picked off by countering left jabs. There it is again. <laughs> Worth noting that only two men have lasted the distance so far, though, with Lasisi, so there's always that exciting little element in a fight like this that one punch can suddenly turn it all around. Can Lasisi find that punch? Because so far, no doubt about it, Hill looks the superior attack. <laughs> this is the 12 stone, 7 pound division, in which Britain's Dennis Andres is the champion for the World Boxing Council. And he defends his title soon against Donny Lalong. That's another fight you can see live on Sky Television. Pretty good round again for Hill. Picking his punch as well. Rejoin us for more action in a moment. Virgil Hill, the champion, defending against this man, Joe Lassisi. This is the third round, and it's due to go 12. Hill had Lassisi down in the first round. He got up quite quickly, had to take standing count in the end up to the mandatory eight. Hill so far outboxing Lasisi, but Lasisi still looking to come forward, pick his man off with that jab, but look at the way Hill slips the punches. What a good ring craftsman he is. Unsung, underrated, hasn't really caught on with the American public in a big way yet, but uh, you can see by this packed crowd here how he's caught on with the public in North Dakota where they don't have too many sporting heroes. Referee, the Canadian, Hubert Earl, having a quick word there. Back they get to work. There's Freddie Roach, Virgil Hill's trainer. Man who's in side by side with him. Eddie Futch as well has worked with Virgil Hill, but uh, doesn't seem to be around tonight. He recently had a car crash, nothing too serious. Just a knee injury, but it's prevented Eddie Fudge from working the corner tonight. Fudge, the great strategist, master technician, who was behind Ken Norton and Joe Frazier's wins over Muhammad Ali, and more recently, Marlon Starling over Lloyd Hunnigan and Mike McCallum against Harold Graham. So it's a loss not having him around. But Hill's doing okay so far. Look at him. Looks as if he's in training for the marathon almost, doesn't he? But he's good at that, the hit-and-run tactics. so good at that putting in the jab and then getting the heck out of there before anybody can counter him the CC breathing noticeably harder they may only be jabs but look at the way he's weakening to the body as well into the rib cage from Virgil Hill in that exchange. Hill, who was the Olympic silver medalist. No fanfare of publicity for him, though. He was virtually ignored afterwards. Not given the big build-up the likes of Tyrell Biggs and Mark Greeland and Pernell Whitaker had. He's always had to do it the hard way, this fellow. 
CC looks as if he could be dangerous with that right though if Hill is just caught out for a moment. Hill can't afford to lose his concentration. He's so effective with that jab though. There it is again. Jab, bang, bang. Rejoin us in Bismarck in just a moment. And welcome back live to Bismarck, North Dakota, not too far from the Canadian border in the United States of America. There's Virgil Hill, who on my scorecard has won every round so far. The champion, who seems booked for a successful defense, successful sixth defense, I might say, of this title. But Le Sisi does have a punch. And that's what always makes it fascinating when you get that clash of styles between the man who's the stylist and the man who packs a little bit of dynamite in his fists. But Lassisi so far hasn't been able to explode the dynamite because Hill, who's improving all the time, has skipped out of range and slipped the jab and got in with his own little jabs. And he had Lassisi down, remember, in that first round. <laughs> Lassisi trying to corner Hill on those ropes, but the American's ring craft was too good there bounced off the ropes back to center of ring. He wasn't going to be caught there and lined up for any heavy artillery. Crowd behind me absolutely absorbed in this one. Hill very much the local hero and he'll be hoping that he can catch on a little bit outside the boundaries of North Dakota in future. Maybe earn himself some big bucks. Oh! Prepared to trade for a moment there and got him with the left hill. Nice economy about Hill's work, isn't there, too? Rarely see a punch off target from him. And when punches are... Well, having said that, he was out of range with that one. But uh, when fighters are throwing punches and they don't find the target, it tends to be very tiring. CC so far just finding Hill a elusive target. He's nice and light on his feet still. CC who spent the last couple of years in America where they've tried to hone his technique. He was a little bit raw when he came across. A lot of Africans had fallen down in front of him, but he's moving into a much bigger league now, and he must know that. But he's strong. The age gap between them could begin to tell too. They, some say Lassisi is as old as 32. So perhaps at that age you don't want the fight going too long. There goes the bell to end the round. Hill will be happy again with his work, no doubt. Lassisi couldn't nail him once more. And watching back there in London, Alan Minter, the former middleweight champion of the world. Alan Hill appears at the moment to have things rather in his pocket. Yeah, I've got Hill winning everything at the moment. But the, the problem is, with Joe Les Lassassi, is, is a pressure fighter. He's putting on the pressure all the time. In that particular round, Virgil Hill started dropping his hands, dancing around being coggy. You cannot be coggy and flash against a pressure fighter. Somebody that can, as Joe Lassassi, somebody that can punch and knock you out with either hand. I've got Hill well in front, but he's got to, he mustn't get over anxious. He must be alert at all times because although Joe Lassassi is getting hit, he's still in the fight. There's Hill. Round five coming up now. Hill's corner will no doubt be saying, just keep up the good work, don't lose your concentration. Just a hint of a little swelling maybe under that left eye of Hill, but nothing serious at the moment. Still working with that jab. But Hill can put his punches together pretty well in clusters as well. He hasn't shown too much of that so far, but why should he? 
things are going entirely to plan the way it is. been some famous British winners of this World Light Heavyweight Championship back to Bob Fitzsimmons and then was Len Harvey though he wasn't universally recognized Freddie Mills who died so tragically John Conte in more recent years and Dennis Andrews who as I was telling you is currently the World Boxing Council champion at this 12 stone 7 weight and there at ringside mum and dad watching Virgil Hill They've made the 200-mile trip from Grand Forks. Hope the roads are okay for them. Left hook there from Hill. I wonder if we're going to see him opening up a little bit. A lot of Vaseline smothered on those eyes of Lasisi between the rounds. He tried a clubbing right there and... Hill shook his head as if to say that didn't hurt, I was only caught off balance. But sometimes fighters do that, and Lasisi now, I think okay, he it? just senses for a moment that maybe he's troubled Hill for the first time. Don't hold, don't hold! Don't hold, says the referee. More interesting in this round, though. Did Hill lose his balance, or was he just stunned for a moment? Good body shot from him there. There's no doubt about it, Lasisi is looking to unload the heavier artillery now. And this, I would say, his most encouraging round so far. He needs the tide to turn. load with the left hook as well now just looking to vary it a little and the following right as he tried it there the CC who's had a good win over the IBF number one as he was at the time Uriah Grant though in that fight he was out on his feet in the second round and came back to win but that was a good success for him he's still being picked off with that jab though you can see the way Lasisi's head rocks back Every time Hill lands with the jab. Little glance between them. Well, there is Joe Lasisi. Bit of action from the round. Now, caught him with the left there. And then the right, and I think that actually did stun Hill just a little bit. He looked uh, a shade disorganized did Hill for a moment there and that was the first time I think his composure went. The CC officially 29, a big reach, 76 inches, but uh, Hill's is big too, 77, and the unbeaten record. There's a lot of chat going on in La Cici's corner, as you'd expect. And I would think it was, um, my translation's not too good, I'm afraid of all that, but what I think they're probably trying to say to La Cici is, you can trouble him, you showed it in that last round. Coming into round six. In just a moment, the sixth round will be underway. Off they go. And are we going to see the tide about to turn here? Le Cici in the white trunks. Virgil Hill, the champion, in the black. WBA World Light Heavyweight titles due to go 12 rounds. And this is the sixth of them. Just the one knockdown so far. Le Cici in the opening round. The other champions at this weight, IBF, Charlie Williams, Prince Charles Williams, WBC, Dennis Andres, and the WBO, the newly formed embryonic organization. They have Michael Mora from the Cronk Gym in Detroit as their champion, and some say he's the best around, though. That may well be decided if they can get together with a unification series at this weight. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see it at all the weights. And too many versions of too many titles at the moment, as any boxing fan will tell you. Good work again there from Hill, bouncing off the ropes. And the 
Sisi really looking to rough it up. He'd like to engage Hill in a barroom brawl in there, wouldn't he? And he got in with some good punches there, and Hill maybe just beginning to slow a little and being forced to trade more. And the more he has to trade, the more it's Lasisi's kind of fight. Lasisi, that green stripe down his shorts, remember. The one on the left of your picture, Hill on the right, black shorts. Throwing that left jab again. A minute to go in this round. Getting on then towards the halfway stage of the contest. And the CC showing signs in the last couple of rounds that just maybe he could sneak his way back into it. side you sense just beginning to get a little more anxious for Virgil Hill they can possibly see that it's evening up a shade more Hill still well ahead at the moment but it doesn't look quite so emphatic for him as it did two or three rounds ago still scoring well with that left jab of his though CC is dreaming of one big bomb. Couldn't find it in that round. Alan Minter watching back in London. Signs just possibly that Joe Lasisi is getting back into it a little. Yes, an another great round. You know, it's been tremendous from the first, from the opening bell. But um, Vigil Hill has definitely slowed down, taking his time. He's still hit hitting Lasisi with some good punches, but Lasisi is definitely coming back into the fight. He's, he's jabbing himself, he's, he's catching Hill with his own jabs. He's very accurate. Although he's been taking a few jabs, Lasisi, he's still strong and still very, very determined. What would you be saying to Lasisi if you were in his corner now? I would say, Ian, you've got to keep, you've got to keep pressing Hill, keep on his toes, push him back into the corner, get him in the corner, then open up on him. Because when you get a good-looking fighter, they don't like to be hit. Interesting to see there that they were using the iron in the corner to make sure that there were no swellings developing around those eyes. They're obviously getting a little worried about that. Known as a mouse in the trade. Developing under the right eye, that is, of Lasisi. But the corner men have done a good job on it. As I said at the start, his eyes looked almost swollen before he started. That just may be his appearance. Lasisi, the one in the white trunks, then. He's the challenger for this title, which Virgil Hill has held now for 20 months since he knocked out Trinidad's Leslie Stewart in the fourth round. Crowd getting very involved in this one. CC still looking for the haymakers, Hill still picking him off with the jabs. This African is obviously very, very strong. He keep coming forward, this is his big chance. As my colleagues were telling you back in the studio before this fight started, there may not be another one. Cece at this moment will be just hoping he can find the kind of punch that allegedly put Hill down in the gym when they sparred together. Oh, look at that. Big goal, two good lefts, and Lasisi's in trouble. His legs stiffen with those. Two lefts from Hill, then body punches, and look at the champion explode into action now. And that really did wobble the Nigerian, who's now out on the ropes, and the referee's going to step in, and that will be enough. Suddenly, a burst of explosive action. And Virgil Hill retains the WBA World Light Heavyweight Championship for the sixth time. Wicked lefts. And look what it means to him. Look at the celebrations in those corner. Well, 
Virgil Hill tends to be uh, unrecognised. He tends to be unsung. Nobody writes too much about him. Bob Arum, the promoter there, coming into the ring, giving him a little clap and saying, well done, good work. Bob Arum, the promoter here, his top rank on Hill, being lifted high and taking the acclaim of this 8,500 sellout crowd at the Civic Centre in Bismarck, North Dakota. The hometown hero wins again.